Hey, everybody. Okay, so I am sending over a very quick link for, <laughs> I'm sending over a quick link, Beatle on fans. I am sending a link over to Meredith Roddy and to Sarah Ellis right now so that we can get rocking on this shared Facebook live stream. So our first time doing this, um, having more than one person on the Jesse James Facebook live. So did a little test earlier to see if it was going to work and it looks like we're going to be pretty solid. Okay. We're officially live. Um, so Meredith Roddy from Beetle On will be joining us in just a minute. And Sarah Ellis as well. So it's shared Facebook live stream. We just mute that. Okay, great. Um, let's let these two ladies in. I see Meredith. Hey! Hi, Meredith. Hello, do I need to go vertical or horizontal? You need to go turn your phone the other way. Like this? Yeah, that looks good for me. Oh, all right, perfect. That is so much easier for me. I just put okay. it down like that. So it's got a little bit of a delay. Um, Facebook has a little bit of a delay, but we'll just talk. we'll just talk in the Zoom conference and then I'll try to pop back on. Great. It's like magic. I love it. Yes. Okay, Sarah Ellis is here too. Wait a second. I'm going to admit Sarah Ellis into the room. I'm so excited that we're zoom, able to zoom, do this. Zoom. Perfect. <laughs> I love that you figured out how to do this. You're going to have to teach me when you're done. Um, you know what? I just I asked Sarah. Um, I asked El Gogole, aka Google, <laughs> and it told me what to do. So, so here Perfect. we are. Is everyone here? People joining in? Yeah. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Debbie. Emily. I wonder. You know what? I think I can do with this. I'm gonna switch this to gallery view so that yeah, we can, they can all see all of us all at once. Yeah. So just give us a second, Facebook. BD <laughs> Um, gallery view. Okay, can everyone see us all together? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I see um, me. Oh, I see me and my goose. Um, Sarah Ellis, go up top. Okay. Are you on your computer? Uh, iPad. You're on your iPad. Um, swipe left. Oh, there we all are. That's amazing. Yeah, like hey, Debbie. You, know, you, want to be, you want to be swiping left on us. On regular terms, if you're on Zoom. Swipe. No swiping. <laughs> okay, well, everyone everyone on Facebook can see us all together. Going, Yay! Oh, wait, Jamie. wait, wait, wait. I did it! <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Pope. Jamie is saying that this is neat. Flossie says, hi, ladies. Hi. Debbie That's Rogers awesome. and the beauty bunch are in the house. Whoop, raise the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, my favorite beating ladies are all together. <laughs> This is cool. It is I love cool. it. Oh my god! Can we just hang out for a while with everybody? Yeah. Oh my hair. I miss you guys. I know. Are you still in Colorado? Uh huh. Wow. All right. Wait. Why am I vert? No, I'm vertical, and everybody else is horizontal. Hold on. I'm going. Can I do that? There we go. Horizontal. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. She done did it. Yay. All right. Perfect. All right. Now I'm a professional. Cool. <laughs> hey guys, friends that are watching this, if you wouldn't mind giving this a share to your BD groups or your personal page, we would love that. So everyone, we can all hang out together. Yeah. Here we, let me, I will, um, can you share it on Beetle on? I don't, I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, I can. Okay. I can. So how are you guys nice. doing? How are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing <laughs> pretty good you know it's been a day it's been a day it's been a day yeah. although we got jacob a new bike today so oh, nice. that was really fun yeah we have been did you get the bike um from the store yeah so we ordered it online and we oh, went yeah. to the um to the track in wayne right by the wayne movie theater Okay. Um, and then I just, I waited on the little dot and they brought it out and they put it on my bike rack and away we went. I paid over the phone. It was amazing. Awesome. Yeah. 
Very cool. And so now he's tooling around the neighborhood being socially distant. That's great. <laughs> That's good because the last time I talked to you, you couldn't get him to get out of the house. I know. I know. <laughs> a super fancy bike later and now he has no choice <laughs> um, that's really awesome i i am, am admittedly not the best bike rider um i grew up in like i grew up on a fairly busy street and my parents were nervous so they're like i could have the bike and i could go out with my dad but like it's not like that cool to go with your dad which you're you know <laughs> like, the race. so i just never really like did that much uh that much bike riding but i can say i can like keep the two wheels in a straight line I prefer a beach cruiser. I've tried it <laughs> in Colorado. Uh, I, I would like, what I'm trying to say is I also would like to be like Jacob. And <laughs> well, now that Jacob has a fancy <laughs> new bike, I kind of want to get a fancy new bike for me too. Take the show on the, on the road. Yeah, seriously. Hey, does everybody want to say hello to look at what a good boy Aww. we've got behind us right now? Oh my God, what is that a <laughs> he can finally hang out that down in the studio without nibbling everything on the floor. I was going to say, your studio's got a lot going on. In the studio or just with the... In your Have you ever seen this is my, this is where I hang out. In your crafty area, yeah. Oh, you know what, Sarah? I love, we do have an audience and we should probably speak to them, but I want to show you, <laughs> look, this is my this and then my this. Can you see that? Yes! Oh my gosh. Wait. Sure, wait. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Taking care of some business. I thought you'd appreciate <laughs> that. I love it. Right? Oh my gosh, it's so wonderful. And then my this, which I'm super, super That's happy cool. About. Isn't that cool? So Meredith and I both connect over having uh, a passion for the same band, this band Fish. And I think it's really awesome. Um, I mean, like, I think that, I think Fish draws a lot of creative people in general. But like just the fact of being able to connect through music, especially while yeah. we're all quarantined at our homes, you know, it's important to be able to put some tunes on that make you feel good. So yeah, we, and in the um in the group, there. people have been supporting each other so much with making. And um before anybody buys anything, they always put a call out to see if anybody is selling something on Etsy or it's really it's a nice community. Yeah. Nice. So you, are we going to make something or what? Yes. <laughs> um, I'm really, so guys, this was uh, Meredith and Sarah. This is all of their idea. Meredith is like, I got this quarantine kit from you, Sarah James, Jesse James Beads. It's like, this is awesome. Should we go live on Facebook and make something? <laughs> and like, of course, Sarah and I are like, heck yeah. Like, let's, let's uh, get <laughs> more now and see each other's faces and make jewelry online. I think the better. So, um, I guess I'll just preface that by Jesse James Beats has created these kits. We call them our quarantine kits. And basically it's just a big box full of mixes and beads and findings and stringing material, everything that you need to keep yourself happy and active while you are at home. And Sarah Ellis, you did an unboxing, right? I did do an unboxing. So everybody has already seen all of the cool stuff that's in it. Yeah, except that everybody gets a different box, so everybody's Ooh. got their own little surprises and goodies in there. Oh, I didn't realize that everyone was different. That's even better. The list of the materials stays the same. So I think in, in quarantine kit round one, everyone got two bead mixes and three strands and um, some stringing material. This next round that we have, the sales end tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern, you get a quarter pound of Jesse James beads by the pound. You get a little Swarovski Ooh. beads. So everyone gets like those things, but the colors vary. Oh, I love a, um, when you get a, like a grab bag that you're not 100% sure what it's going to be. Such a great fun mm -hmm. surprise. Can you stop eating things? <laughs> I, I bothered Stan and now he's back in nibble mode. <laughs> All right. So Sarah Alice, how are we going to do this? Cause it's Sarah and Sarah. And when we text, it's easy because you've got an H and you don't have an H. I think we're just going to go with Ellis and James. How's that? That works. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when Ellis and I, it sounds weird. Um, we, when we are talking, we have two different ways that we like making stretch bracelets. And we thought that we could make some stretch bracelets and show, I'll show my way and Sarah can show her way. And then yeah. hopefully some people will 
will um, learn a little something and have a good time. <laughs> because in our quarantine kit come these awesome, did everybody get the same kind of elasticity? Everyone got the same elasticity, yep. Okay, awesome. So this is one millimeter elasticity. So this is the hardcore stuff. This is good stuff. Yeah. So Sarah, do you want to yeah. go first and show your knot or do you want me to go first and show my thing? I actually really want to see your thing. So <laughs> it's actually not even my thing. It's um, um, uh, Julie actually from JTV um, wow. suggested showing it. And I was like, well, that's a good idea. And now it's my thing. So I have appropriated it as a thing because it's such a good thing um, because not everybody has a, um, an elastic cord needle in their beading right. stash, but most people have 22, 24, 26 gauge wire. So oh, why don't I, um, why don't I go to the overhead and then I'll just show you what I'm talking about. Sound good? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, perfect. All right. Everybody talk to the Sarah's while I get myself situated. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully I won't disconnect or turn the phone off or any one of the number of things that I could possibly do when going from one, one thing to another. The phone has, the buttons are just not in the right place. Okay, here we go. I'm just reading some comments here. Tracy I Alden says- I comments, just so read them up. Tr Tracy, I'll, I'm on Facebook and on Zoom. So that's how I'm seeing the comments. But Tracy Alden uh, says, just thinking about making stretch bracelets today. So this is really perfect timing. Oh, good. And you know, we can do, um, it'll, um, it'll be interesting. Too. It'll be good to hear like which technique people like. And I like there, there's always a time for one thing or a time for another thing. You know what I mean? Like sometimes the best way, the best thing to use is the needle. Sometimes the best thing to use is um, just one strand. And sometimes perhaps this will be a good thing also. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. I've got, let's see, I have 26 gauge artistic wire. You could nice. use 24 or 22. This just happens to be what I grabbed. And really down and dirty, I'm just cutting a length of it and folding it in half. And then I'm going to grab some elasticity and pull out a length. And I have to, I have gone through my um, quarantine kit twice, but I haven't really spent a whole lot of time with it. So this will be a very exciting kind of designing on the fly, which Sarah James, you remember that. what a great job I did with that. The last time I tried to design on the fly, do you remember down in the Beatle on studio? I mean, it we didn't go have well. Much, spoiler alert. I, we, we always <laughs> have so much fun when we do our, you know, I mean, for me, I'm always designing on the fly. So. <laughs> 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 that is a good point. All right, so I have this. Um, I thought it was basically, great. what I'm doing is I'm making a needle with the wire. So I always double my elasticity because you guys will see once I go to tie the knot why um, why I do that. And you always, 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 always. How many more times can I say always? Always want to pre-stretch the elasticity. Always, always. Yes. Because if you don't pre-stretch it, it's going to stretch out on you, and then that is sad and a bummer. <laughs> okay, so now all I'm doing no one is twisting. What's that, Sarah James? <laughs> I said no one wants a droopy stretch bracelet. Nobody wants a droopy stretch bracelet, <laughs> especially with these big, big beads. Um, but that's why the one Long millimeter is perfect. All right, so I'm just going to tie a little knot here on the end to hold my beads in place. And so now I have a needle and my thread is doubled. And for those of you who have not been through the, um, the quarantine kit yet with, with Sarah and her unboxing, why don't you walk through it with me so we can figure out what I'm going to make. So we have, so, okay, it'll be interesting. So Sarah Ellis, did, is this yes. the same as what you got? Nope. Sarah, Already you not the same. Awesome. I got right in the middle of stringing it up. Oh, that's candy. Ooh. Oh, yes. So my that. strand was purple and green. Ooh. Yeah. 
Meredith, I love that strand that has the little, the, all the little baubles dangling off of it. Oh, thank you. This one with the little feathery things. Those MDs. Oh my gosh. This is so I much fun. I turn to die. Thank you. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. And I love this one. It's not necessarily my style, but that's why I love it because it's going to give me a little bit more to work with in, and, um, the thing I love about Jesse James beef strands, if I may be so bold, is there yeah. are like, you look at it for one thing and it's like, oh, okay, there's some beautiful beads here. But then once you start piecing it apart, I've got bead caps, I've got spacers. I have another kind of bead cap. I have different spacers. Like everything is a little <laughs> added bonus once you start looking closer. I love it. And then we have some mixes here. And I haven't opened this yet because at one point I was going to do an unboxing, but as the best laid plans seem to be happening these days, nothing seems to be going right. So now I get to open them up. Just surrender Fine. into the flow, Meredith. What's that, Sarah? <laughs> I said, this is our time where we just surrender to the flow. I know, yes. right? 100%. <laughs> this is awesome chain. Thank you. Yeah, that chain, is, that chain is really nice quality chain. It's plated. It's, it's, um, uh, what am I trying to say here? It's plated six times. Like the coating on it is so good. I have necklaces that I've made with that chain from five years ago and it's still the same color. Like it is it's a just, really good chain. It's really pretty. And it's I love Egypt how it's got the, the, um, the crystals and the, um, I feel like I would use it just like this. Yeah, it looks really pretty all by itself. It's 18 pieces, 18 inches. It's connected with a little jump with a split ring. So you could just undo yeah, right the split here. ring, attach it together, and just have like a really beautiful long layered necklace. Squirrel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Focus, Meredith. Focus. Okay. We're making elastic bracelets. Okay. So I'm going to use um, the one that Sarah really likes, these peach beads here. And I'm going to hope that, yeah, it looks like I'm just check checking out the holes. The other thing I really like about Jesse James beads, not that this is a Meredith love fest on Jesse James beads. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. <laughs> is the holes are big. And it makes such a difference. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna treat this now like my threading needle. So it's almost like a um, like a collapsible, it's not almost like, it is exactly like a collapsible eye needle. So my only challenge is gonna be making sure that all of these beads fit over. But you know what? If one doesn't like this one, the hole isn't big enough, I'm just gonna set it aside. And that's okay, I'll use that for something else. Sarah, you made oh. earrings yesterday, right? She did. Yes. She's wearing them. Oh, so pretty. You know, for not having anything to do, I have actually been, been really busy. <laughs> you know what I've been doing is making masks. Have you yeah. been, have you guys made any masks yet? I haven't made a mask yet. Mm -mm. Is anybody, I'm not seeing the comments probably just because I need to swipe over. Has, um, are there any members of our beating group that are making masks now? And if so, please share your pattern. I have a pattern that yeah. I've been using um, that a friend of mine suggested that I use. But after you've made, I don't know how many masks I've made now, maybe 40, I'm ready for a new pattern. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody has one that they can suggest, I would love to check it out. There All right, is. so I'm going fast now. and I'm not paying super attention. So my needle got a little, a little wonky. I'm just gonna snip that off. That's why I kind of made it a little bit longer just in case I needed to do that. I'm so glad that that one bead fit on. I was a little bit nervous. That's my favorite one. That's like the wow bead. There's always a wow bead, right? I keep thinking that these ones are gonna go on and each time it does not. You'd think I'd learn. I do not learn. <laughs> are those the cute little mother of pearl beads? Those are, yeah, those are the mother of pearl beads. Little chunky monkeys. <laughs> I am so, always so impressed by your design team, Sarah James, who put yeah. these mixes together. 
and take yeah. all of the guesswork out of designing? We're just, our team is so talented and we've just been, um, we've been doing this for a while. They are really good at seeing, at seeing color and also being able to pair beads together that are going to give you the jewelry maker a nice well-balanced assortment to work with so you know instead of going and looking at this like what could be somewhat daunting of a strand wall at a store where all the beads are just the same on one mm -hmm. spring you get this set of beads that's got your bead caps on it it has your spacer beads it has your focal wow beads as Meredith calls them <laughs> and it's all about that balance oh yeah now one of the things that we always talk about is um filling up the holes of your beads as much as possible. And with these big hold beads and the doubled one millimeter elasticity, it really allows you to be able to do that, to minimize any friction, to minimize any, um, any rubbing. Oh, that one doesn't go. That one's a fun one. I feel like especially now, oh, Ooh. that one's a little tight. It's a little tight. I think I'm going to pull it off. Yeah, that one's going off. <laughs> we don't want to, we don't want to force it if it's not going to go. Because so many of them, that one's pretty. I was reading, well, whose comment was I reading that they were making mostly earrings with their quarantine mix? Ooh. And I thought that that was such a, a good idea. And one of the things that I like making the most with these mixes is earrings. I feel like it's the perfect, like, I don't know. It's just the perfect amount of beads, the perfect, I don't know. I'm always inspired to make earrings from these mixes. Sarah, do you find that also? Yeah. And when you think about all of the stuff that's included and you think about, just like you were saying, like you, you have the bead caps, you have all of the beads that are already handpicked for you. So you just kind of piece them out into like small little sections. With one quarantine kit, I can't, I can't even begin to imagine how many pairs of earrings you could make. Like you oh could literally gosh. fill up an entire craft booth with just one quarantine kit or one me me words, magical mystery. <laughs> you, could, you could fill an entire booth up just with earrings if you piece everything out and what's awesome is that it already like the hard parts already done the colors and the patterns are already there you just string them up the way you like them and stick your ear wires on them and you're good to go so it's really instant gratification like at the highest level i need one more beat my friend gretchen is doing a quarantine earring challenge fun um, and making she, making um, one pair of earrings, at least one pair of earrings every day, but she was a little bit behind. So she had to catch up with like 30 pairs of earrings at once, but now oh she's God. all caught up. Oh. But I thought, wouldn't, isn't this a perfect, um, a perfect way to have an earring challenge like that for yourself um, to make a pair of earrings every day? Sarah, are you up for the challenge? I every for the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right so this is how I finish I've got a loop here and I will have two pieces here once I move everything but the first thing I'm going to do is snip this off and because it was just a little piece of um like a really just a scrap of wire um and who who among us doesn't have a gazillion scraps of wire <laughs> on their beading mats right Sarah Ellis does that oh. does that comment resemble you at all <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move all of these down and there was a question that I saw that came through is how many times I did my um my stretching to pre-stretch and I don't know did you guys notice at least three or four it's you can kind of feel it like you feel it stretch and then you feel when it's when it's reached its maximum stretch out um and then you just kind of know does that make sense you kind of feel it. Um, and I just, I tied this knot here in the end just to make sure that my beads wouldn't slide off. They're not going anywhere. So Sarah, have you seen me do this before? Sarah Ellis? I, I, I think that I have. I think that when you were explaining this to me earlier, I was thinking of something completely different. So yeah, I think it's oh. Yeah. All right, we'll just play along and pretend like you haven't. Okay. 
<laughs> I haven't seen it. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, I'm so like, I have a loop here. Fully zeroed in right here. now. <laughs> <laughs> and I put the one of the strands through the loop. Mm -hmm. And the I the, I can't take credit for coming up with this technique. I, I saw it actually in one of the magazines, but it's such a good way, especially if you struggle with um with the knots with elasticity, which some people do. Some people have a challenge with the knots. I find that doing it this way um, makes it easier for me. Um, and that's what I like showing people different ways of doing things because maybe this way will be easier for them also. Anyway. Okay, so I just tied the first half of the surgeon's knot right over left. And now mm -hmm. I'm coming back the other way with just the second half of the surgeon's knot left over right. And with this, um, with this heavy duty elasticity, I find that if I get in there and I stretch the top, but also stretch the bottom out, it gives me all of the stretch I need to get that knot nice and tight. Yeah. So that's kind of the way that I do it, either using the, um, the elastic cord needle, or if I don't have an elastic cord needle, just a little piece of wire, whether it be 26 gauge, 24 gauge, um, just a little scrap that you have lying around and then put the loop through, I'm sorry, put one of the ends through the loop, tighten it up and then snip off the ends. Now I don't mind having ends showing, but what Me I neither. sometimes like doing <coughs> is actually putting a little dangle on the ends. Ooh. Yeah. And I just happened to grab this bead. And even, um, even though it's elastic cord, treating it like leather and doing a double overhand knot here and add and leaving it as a little dangle do. A little dangle. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a little bit long for my dangle do. But, and then it adds a, even more interest and more fun to the piece. And now I'm thinking maybe, maybe, maybe let's see what happens with this. Right. I also love the metal mixing component of the Jesse James beads. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, universe. <laughs> because that's one of the things that I really struggle with. I'm not good at mixing metals. I like, I don't think that that's going to work. I like my metals singular. <laughs> I like my golds with my golds and my silvers with my silvers and my browns with my bronzes. But I also like being forced out of my comfort zone. And I like the, um, that these strands give me the opportunity to be able to do that. And that is my bracelet. Love it. Yay, just something fun and different. And I love seeing the, um, like I can wear it with everything kinds of bracelets that, uh -huh. um, that yeah. I have been seeing. All right, I'm coming back up everybody. <laughs> See if I can figure out how to do this. And now that I'm back up, I'm gonna see what my dog is eating. What are you eating? <laughs> Guys, I just exploded one of these comments really quick. So <laughs> Meredith was talking about her earring challenge, her friend's earring challenge that she's having. And Debbie Rogers from the Beady Bunch said that a couple of years ago she gave herself her own personal challenge and she made nothing but Jesse James beads and she created she used nothing but Jesse James beads and created 22 pairs of earrings in one day. Oh my gosh, what? I love that. Debbie, can you cool? send some photos? I want to see That's all awesome. the earrings that you made. All right, Sarah Ellis, I'm done. All right. <laughs> so... My work here is done. I'm going to play with that chain while you're making stuff. Tell yeah. me how to flip a ring. Is there like so a... If you... Ooh, that's, that's, that's something else. Um, if you tap on your screen, there should be that little flip around icon little flip around all right let's see hmm. ah. can we do facebook lives together every day this is so I much fun. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it all it took was just to have figured out how to do all it took was figure out whoa words again <laughs> if I could, uh, <laughs> we just had to figure it out once <laughs> perfect know? I don't ever want to do a Facebook live by myself. This is amazing. <laughs> right? I really <laughs> like that purple and green. Those it's are my pretty, colors. Pretty? That's my so jam. Good. I don't know so where good. that strand came from. <laughs> well, well, now cool. I have it. <laughs> that's so cool. We like put together some of these quarantine kits because like that's why everyone's not getting the same thing. It's like we have a bunch of beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. strands that we're 
in shows. We haven't been doing beach shows because of everything going on. Um, so we've got stuff that is gorgeous, that deserves to be in the hands of someone who loves it. Yes. That's fun. That's where we are. <laughs> and that's Strand. It's so pretty. It really, and I love those cage beads also. All right, so while you're, while Sarah is up, I am going to make a big, long um, chain with those chains because those are pretty. Let's see if I can Ooh, get yeah, my- I them all together. That'd be awesome. Okay, so my very favorite knot is the one that is actually on the back of the packaging. And oh. I don't, was this a Wyatt knot or was this a Meredith knot? That- <sighs> I think it's a Wyatt knot. It's definitely not a Meredith knot. Well, whoever came up with it, this is like one of those knots where if you wanted to like, I don't know, attach yourself to the ceiling for whatever reason, <laughs> <laughs> this knot is not going to come undone. Like, I don't know why you would want to do such a thing, but it, it will take a beading and I'm really, really hard on jewelry. So I need a knot that is really, really going to grab on. And that's, that's this knot on the back. But I think that a lot of people get confused with it because at first glance, it looks like a surgeon's knot, which it is, but it's with the two strands running side by side instead of going against each other right so yes, that's what that's the part that had always confused me with the picture yeah. is that I didn't understand how the two strands were getting right. next to each other. well first and foremost just like Meredith says you want to give it a good stretch get it all stretched out and this is one that this the one drawback to this knot is that if you if you don't stretch it out. This one really will get really, really droopy on you. And there's no going back with it. So yep. you have to be sure that you have really pre-stretched and you almost want to stretch it to the point where you feel like I have all of the beads grouped in one hand. And then I have my two strands together and I'm pulling. You almost want to get right to the point where you feel like you might break it. That's how, that's how much you want to pull on the elasticity to make sure that you don't have any extra that's going to droop down you. and you want your knot to come down that tight so you've got both strands okay so there are the beads coming out and instead of crisscrossing and tying a knot just a standard knot I'm going to take the two strands together pull 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 stretch out really really close and then I like to take my fingers and I'll wrap around my fingers with the elasticity and I do two fingers and then I take the two strands and loop underneath once and then loop underneath a second time. So just like a surgeon's knot in that, but the difference is that the two strands are going in the same direction. And then as you pull the two strands, you want to slip your fingers out and keep pulling. You have to keep the tension as you pull and if you need to, you can put like a beading all in there in place of where your finger is to get really, 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 really tight on it. That's a really good tip. Yeah, and then pull it down. And once you've got it pulled down, you can kind of see the knot looks very similar to a barrel knot because there is a lot of it going on, right? It's, it's kind of a bulky knot. So I always do it next to a bead where there's a large hole that I can just slip it to the inside. Um, but one of the great things about this knot is that the more you pull on it, the tighter it's gonna get. So every single time you go to stretch the bracelet out and put it on, you're stretching the elasticity and you're also strengthening that knot. So that makes it, it's, it's working for you as you're you know, going to put it on, which is really, really nice. Particularly if you do have a little bit of slack in there that you don't want, every time you go to put it on, you're gonna draw in some of that slack. So that makes it, makes it really nice. And it's one of those knots that a lot of times I don't even use any glue for. I'll just come in and trim off the ends, stick it into the inside of a bead. And I know that I've got a knot that's not going to go anywhere. Hmm. That's always a question that I get is to not to glue or not to glue. Right. And I, I usually don't, don't have them. glue nearby, which is why I never glue. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I feel like if you can get a tight enough knot, whether you do it this way or whether you do it with the surgeon's knot like you showed, I feel like if you can get the knot to grab, you really don't need it 
-hmm. don't really need the glue. The only instance where I feel like glue might be super necessary is if you are finding that your elasticity is really slippery and it wants to slip outside of the mm -hmm. large hole bead that you've got it in, then you can actually use the glue to anchor that knot to the inside of the bead so that it won't come out. Huh. But as far as the knot is concerned, if you can get that knot to grab, it's not going to come undone. I love the tip of sticking the knot inside a large hole bead also, because we've, we've done a couple of stretch bracelet making tutorials here on Facebook before. And um, we've had some people come out and say like, oh, hey, well, can't you put a, how about um, a crimp cover? Which crimp covers are great. I like the crimp cover for, um, for the stringing wire. I know Sarah, I think you might have a different opinion on that in terms of like how it wears it down, but I would right. be concerned with the crimp cover and the, I would be concerned about the, the rigidness of the edge of a crimp cover rubbing on the elastic. Exactly. Especially if you didn't cut, if you didn't um, close it quite right, it can get really, really sharp on that yeah. inside edge. Um, but like these big, um, these beads that come here, oops. Sorry, everybody. Hello. The beads that come <laughs> on here, they have a big enough hole but that knot will slide right into it. So it kind of acts like a crimp cover. Right, yeah. But it's not quite as sharp as that, that cutty edgy of the crimp cover could be. You right. know, we started stringing our strands, that bead that you were just showing, Meredith. We started stringing our bead strands with these little metal beads on the end of them, these little, I think they're plastic, but they have a metal coating on them. We started putting those on the end of our bead strands because some of our Jesse J's beads beads holes are were so very large that it was slipping right over the crimp it was slipping over the crimp at the end of the spray oh, so then what started stopping these like little beads which are just like to me it's just like ah it's just a throwaway bead <laughs> but see for me cool. it's like it's super functional and yeah i'm really <laughs> glad to know that there is um there's some function to the form i don't uh, there are there are no throwaway beads i don't know does anybody sarah do you think any any beads are throwaway beads yeah no beads are throwaway beads <laughs> <laughs> they all have their purpose yeah. <laughs> awesome and then what do you 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 snip the ends how sarah ellis i just i normally use a cutter tool i'm using this one don't don't judge me because <laughs> i know that's what i use I'm really, I used, I try not to use my blue cutter for cutting anything other than the bead stringy wire or, you know, um, hard wires, but yeah, I just come in with a cutter tool and I just trim it off. And sometimes I do like you do, and I'll add the, the dangles to it or whatever, but mm -hmm. I'm like you, I totally don't mind the knot. For one thing, if you're using the silver or you're using the clear elasticity, even if you're using the gold elasticity and your beads are in that kind of tone, the knot is just going to disappear into the design. Nobody is yep. going to notice it. And if you've got it stacked up with other bracelets, nobody is going to notice that knot that's on there. Oh, you're wearing my favorite clasp, Sarah. Yes, it's my, oh, I love it. I wear this I bracelet. I love every that. Time. Yeah. Wait, let me say, hold on a second. I was on, oh, that's so wonderful. <laughs> so I told Sarah Ellis, Sarah James, I don't know if I told you I, so I I've seen that class before and I basically was like, take my money. I, I it's so pretty <laughs> and so strong uh -huh. and I, yeah. I love sunflowers mm -hmm. and I love that design, Sarah, you did a Facebook live with it a couple yeah. of like maybe a week or so ago. Yeah. Um, it just makes a single piece of leather into something magical. I love it. It really does. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's one of my favorites. That's why I, we I wear it just about every day. It is, it, at first I wasn't really sure how I felt about it, but then, you know, you really look at it and you're like, that. it was just meant to go together. You know how some, sometimes things are like that. It's just made to go together. The little rose beads that are on it. Let me hold it up so you guys, the rest of y'all can see. Yeah, let's see it. The little rose oh. beads. It was just meant to be. Yeah. And then it has slider on it so like no matter where you look it has something beautiful going on it's just really really beautiful such a pretty I bracelet I love it I'm gonna have to I'm gonna bracelet twin you I'm gonna go start wearing mine again do you find <laughs> that like you you wear like the, the specific jewelry for like a couple weeks and then you retire it and then you wear yeah. something else for a couple of weeks I do I do I do that with everything except for my tourmaline my little strand of tourmaline this is my my lucky bracelet if i don't wear this when i do a facebook live bad things happen so i have to wear the tourmaline <laughs> bracelet what is it is it strong on elastic or is it strong on wire it's on 49 strand with a magnet 
Oh, wow. Nice. nice. Yeah. That's really pretty. Well, I Last. lost this. I lost this in Target. You know how Target, like when you go to check out the, um, like the impulse buy aisles are metal. <laughs> yeah. My oh. magnet clasp got stuck to the impulse buy aisle and I didn't know it. And I thought that I had lost this. I made everybody in the store stop what they were doing. <laughs> and <got> <laughs> That story is so hysterical for so many different reasons. It's really <laughs> though, like the target impulse buy, the impulse aisle really got you good, Sarah. <laughs> Drawing in. <laughs> you cannot leave here until you get back to the impulse aisle. <laughs> Aww. It's so good to be able to do this. We should do this more. Yes. For sure. All right. So this is, this is our, our, um, our promise to everybody we're going to do this again maybe yeah. like and again totally spur of the moment I feel like it was better like this morning Sarah texted and was like are we going to do that Facebook live why don't we do the Facebook live and then kind of all day long I was like maybe I should maybe I shouldn't do I really feel like putting on mascara and lipstick <laughs> <laughs> but then we came on and it was perfect and I hopefully yeah. people had fun hanging out with us too yeah I hope so yeah. too today yeah. is our last day for taking orders for our next round of quarantine kit. So that's why I was like, if we're going to do this. Let's show them, let's show them what they can get, you know? So in case anyone else, in case anybody wants one, you can go ahead and grab it. Um, but I would be down just to come back here with you ladies any old time. Yeah, Perfect. of course. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I want Sarah to teach me how to do that cool barrel rolling thing that she does. <sighs> so when you, you, when you take the these, and you yeah. do three loops and then three loops and then three loops and then three loops and then oh, three loops. Yeah. And then Wyatt tried to convince you that there was a better way to do it, but the three loops and the three loops and the three loops is actually the better way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think there's some people out there that would probably argue against it and be on Wyatt's side about it. But I got to tell you, it's, there probably is a better way, but to me, it's just kind of cathartic, like that motion there's just it works something for about, you. It's like hand nodding. I just prefer to do it that way. So yeah, let's do that. That's, it's a good one. And I actually saw today that somebody posted in the Magical Mystery Beadbox group that they had made a necklace that was made from that pattern. Go check it out. It's really, really awesome. I can't, I can't remember who posted it. So I'm sorry if you're watching. I apologize for not remembering who you are, but your necklace was gorgeous. So go check it out because it's that it's that barrel roll pattern that you're talking about. It was so cool. In a necklace that's all the way around. Wow. No, right. no, no, no. It's just a pendant, but it's, oh. it's just but really, it's like really good. Okay. Yeah. It's awesome. Nice. It's in the magical mystery bead group. Yeah. Cool. cool. Yeah. I haven't seen it. I'll have to check it out. All, all right, ladies. I got to go feed the dog, get the dinner ready, do all the huh? things. <laughs> Yeah, guys, this was great. Thank you so much both for wanting yeah. to come on here and hang out. I really and thank you to us. all of our so I appreciate it. Yeah, this is great. Awesome. Oh, it's hard to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? You're you're the host, well, Sarah. Yeah. So do you hang on? No, you. So hang I guess on. so. You I guess on. that's on, on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you. You do it. <laughs> Guys, guys at home, we will totally do this again. Thank you so yeah. much for joining and saying hi, taking a moment from your afternoon to hang out with us. We will catch you all. I'll catch you two ladies. I'll we'll see all you guys on the internet. Um, I don't know. Yeah. The next time we do it. Perfect. Right. Awesome. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Happy meeting. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how to end the conference. So. <laughs> Wait, okay, I think I found it. <laughs> okay, over and out. <laughs> nice later. Amazing. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>